What's going on Team KD? We back with another video for you today. Now, I know it's been a minute. I know y'all ain't seen me in a while. They haven't seen me in a while either. You've been putting up videos by yourself. You haven't seen me in a while. Um, I've been working. We both been working. That's why videos haven't been going up since we've gotten to North Carolina. It's been kind of hectic, so just work with us. But we trying to get back to a regular schedule program. Yes. So this is day one of the 25 days of Christmas. 27. We gotta make it 27. It's my birthday on the 27th. So you feel me? We gotta make it 27. It can't be 25. We gotta make it 27. This is the 25 days of Christmas. This is day one. It's well, supposed to be like vlogmas or whatever, but we're not gonna be vlogging every day. We're just gonna make sure we have 25 videos for each day of. You get what I'm saying. And as you guys read by the title of this video, today we're going to be doing a Q&A for you guys. So we went on Instagram and Snapchat and asked you guys to ask us some questions. We got a lot of repeat questions. Yeah. One of... repeat question that y'all just won't leave us alone about. <laughs> and the first question is, this is from Snapchat. Why? Is, every time I go to a question, is this question. You guys are so annoying. Like... <laughs> Do you guys see marriage and babies in 2019? <laughs> everybody wants us to have a kid. Not just y'all, but everybody just wants us to have a kid. I don't know. Yeah, like, I just don't understand. Like, every morning I wake up, no funny shit, my uncle be like, you pregnant yet? You pregnant yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Anyways, um, but it might be possible. You never know, and you never know what's in store for 2019. Will you ever marry Derek? I don't know why y'all asking me if I'm gonna marry him. Y'all should be asking him <laughs> if he gonna marry me. They wanna know if I get down on one knee, are you gonna say yes? That's the question. I guess the world will never know till you decide to get down on one knee. She gonna say yeah, ain't worried about it. <laughs> This might be too personal, but how to afford weight loss surgery and a new home, etc. Budgeting, managing money, etc. etc. Et um I didn't pay anything for my weight loss surgery. It was everything was covered by my insurance. I did not have to pay not one penny. Not for my medicine, not for anything. I didn't have to pay for nothing. Okay? So a lot of people keep asking me that. Um, I just went through my insurance company. I'm not sure what insurance you guys have, but if you talk to an insurance company about it, I'm pretty sure they'll pay for it. Um, how are we affording a new home? We're not paying. So, we don't have a budget for affording a new home because we're not getting a new home. We're still moving in with my mother. My mother is buying a new home and we're going to be living there. So, we're going to be paying rent, of course. Like, as usual. But we're not actually buying a house. Not yet. Because I feel like everybody's so confused that we're buying a house. We're not buying the house. My mother is buying a house and we're moving into the house. Okay? Y'all get it now? Budgeting and managing money. Okay. So, me, I feel like I have no problem with that. Who has the problem? You. Because she'll tell me, she'll be like, okay. If we go out to eat or something, okay, no more spending money. This is her words. And then two days later, she wants to go somewhere. She wants to do something. I'm like, you just told me not to spend no more money. And now you want to do this. So you want to get that or you got to get this. I'm really bad with money, guys. Like, I'm the worst person. I will never give anybody advice on money because I am the worst person when it comes to money. Like, I can have $50 in my pocket and then I'll walk past Ulta or Sephora and then I go in and spend $40 and I only have $10 left for next time I get paid. Like, I'm horrible with money. Do you, same kind of question. Do you guys plan on getting married one day and having kids? Same questions, like, re repeated. I only want two kids, guys, by the way, just so you guys know. Yeah. And um, my son's name, because I'm having a son, just so you guys know, his name has to start with a K. So if you guys want to give me K names that are boys, comment in the description box, I mean, Comment in the comments. So I can't get a junior. No, I can't get a junior. I cannot have a JL. So what? Anyways, and what's the other one? Uh, what made you guys move? Was it a scary transition? 
fast from fast paced New York to North Carolina. Okay, so <laughs> I can't speak for him on to why we moved, but I could speak to me. Um my mother was moving. So I moved. Like there's nothing really more to it. I was just tired of like the New York City life. I just feel like I'm settled down and when I do have kids, I don't want to raise them in New York. That's just me and my personal reasons for why I felt like it was time for me to move. And just because like, it's not affordable to live in New York anymore. Like, It was up in the air. Um, just for the simple fact that most of all my family is still in New York. My mother, my father, everybody's still in New York. So I was like... Do I really want to leave my mom? Like, because I'm, I ain't gonna lie, I'm a mama's boy. I love my mother. He is a mama's boy. I don't care. So I was like, do I really want to live? Do I want to leave my mother, my parents, period, my brothers, my sisters? Um, but I feel like it was a better choice for me, for us. What has been the biggest difference between New York and North Carolina? Um, so the biggest difference to me is I can't go anywhere and do anything. Like, I can't just get up and go. Like, it has to be something going on for me to actually go. Like, you know, in Brooklyn, New York, whatever, if I want to go get drunk real quick, babe, let's go downtown real quick. Everything open. It's not like that up here. I mean, down here. Like, nah. I don't, I guess that's what the difference is. I guess as we live here longer, we'll find out where it's at and all of that. But, like, we don't have no friends. That's one of my major differences. We have no friends. We don't have nobody to hang out with. Good difference is, I'm not stressed out. Like, I don't feel like I'm always running here, running there. I feel like I'm permanently on vacation. Like, my spirit is just at rest. Like, my aura. Your vibe. My vibe is different. Like, I'm on chill mode. Everybody's mad friendly out here. I don't have to step outside and put my game face on, like, <laughs> be chill yeah. for me. like it's just it's different I like yeah, it's it it's a different vibe out here like, like everybody just give you chill vibes hey how you doing you could be driving past and people just wave at you you know but yeah it's slow down here but we make the best of it we wasn't really doing much in New York that's what I'm saying it. we wasn't really doing that much so it's like can you film more vlogs and also love y'all thank you we trying like, we really are trying, but it's hard. <laughs> like, the only reason, like, we don't put up mad blogs is because we, we don't be nothing doing do. nothing. Like. <laughs> we got to find something to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, the vlog. Like, I yeah. see a lot of people who put up vlogs out there. And they just, and they like, just do walking around. And life and like. So, I guess if y'all want to see that, we could show y'all that. But it don't be nothing exciting going on. Yeah, like, like we don't really be doing it in Walmart. <laughs> Walmart. Walmart. Food line. Food line. Food line. Uh, Walmart. That's all we do. We don't really do too much. Okay, um, so a lot of you guys keep asking me about this surgery. I'm tired of talking about it. Because <laughs> I feel like I said everything already. Okay, I got my surgery done at Brooklyn Hospital. It is downtown Brooklyn. It is by the Barclays Center. That is where I got my surgery. My doctor's name was Dr. Pratt. I do not know her first name. Her name was Dr. Pratt. So they have a weight loss center inside of Brooklyn Hospital and that is where I went. The insurance I had, because I do not have that insurance anymore, they paid for everything for me. I did not have to pay anything for my surgery. Can y'all do a couple's matching haul with Fashion Over? Now I, that's a good idea. Yeah. That's when I seen that idea. question, I was like, oh, that's a Man. Gucci idea. I guess because we always, well, she always tried to be like me. You know what I'm saying? And with the matching vibes and all that. So, first of all, let me tell y'all this right now. Since your, your idea. I pick out everything for him. So, there's no way. Why are you saying lying? There is no way. <laughs> Why are you lying? Why are you lying? I don't pick out your clothes. So, Thanksgiving, what I said. But when we was in the polo store, who picked out the outfits? No, you recommended it. And I said, okay, I like that. <laughs> I got it first. No, he's I got it first. How you got it first if we bought it the same time? No, but I'm saying like we picked up mine's first, and he was like, "All right, let me see if they got one for the ladies." And that's when we went to your section, and you got yours. But when we was wearing it, 
Yeah, that's hell. Thanksgiving, yeah, let's, let's wear sweatsuits. We ain't wear those, yeah, let's wear those. And then the other day, I don't I'm know if I've seen... I'm it's all me. It's all, the creativity is then, all me. Wait, time out. Then, the other day when, you know, we had on the green pants and all that. Who threw that together? I'm just saying. You know what I'm saying? Like, give you me ain't, my props. You, ain't throw, you threw your outfit together and then I threw mine together. So you trying to be like me. Point blank. That's what I'm saying. That's it. Anyways. She don't even give me my props. I know she a fashion. That's not what the question asks. The question whatever. asks, are you guys going to do a haul with fashion over matching outfits? Yes, we will be doing a haul with <laughs> And that's your outfits from Fashion Nova because that's a good idea. I like that one. Yeah, I like that. That I like was that a good one. idea. Can you talk about your weight loss, like current weight and goal weight? Okay. <laughs> it's not funny because I feel like I say this in like mad videos. Okay, so I am currently one ninety eight. One ninety eight. One hundred and ninety eight pounds. When I started my whole journey, when I first went to my doctor and told her I wanted the surgery I was 245 245 pounds so I basically lost like 46 47 pounds now yes. she don't work since out since July I don't work out and I don't eat right I, yeah. I just had a, I just had a cheeseburger for dinner <laughs> yesterday I had fried fish and french fries I don't eat right so imagine if I was to eat right and work out how much weight I would be losing but I'm not telling you guys that so you can follow what I'm doing. Please do it the right way. I'm just, I don't know. I couldn't and she give drinks up. at least, at least three cups of wine a day. What a day. Three cups of wine a day. I don't know. She Anyways. came down here become a wine addict. Because like, okay, I want you guys to know this. The only thing that makes my stomach feel better it's is alcohol. alcohol. Which is super funny. Like, it's really funny. But that's the only thing that makes my stomach feel better. Like, if my stomach is hurting, if I just ate something, I'm having heartburn or whatever, I take a shot, I'm good. That's but weird. That wasn't the question. You go on off topic. Anyways. Yeah, so, I am currently 198. I do not have a set goal weight. My set to where I'm like, okay, I don't really want to lose no more weight is when I look in the mirror and I'm be like, you know what, girl, you look bad. Like, you look popping. Well, I say that anyways, but. <laughs> anyways, when I go in the mirror and I'm like, okay, my stomach is gone and my thighs look a little bit smaller, then that's my goal. I don't have but, a number. But, I'm not, but, I don't have a number. But, 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 but. As long as I'm under 200 pounds. But, I'm fine. since she don't work out, she don't eat right. Still eating regular. I don't want it to be when she stepped on the scale one day and she 110 pounds. Because I'm going to be like, yo, listen, bro. You out here looking like a skeleton, bro. I ain't feeling that. Yeah, and that's <laughs> not why like... I got this. I didn't want to look like a skeleton. But I am going to try to tone up and actually, like, get a waist trainer and try waist training and see if it'll help. My I don't want to lose flatter. too much weight. Like I don't want to be skinny. Like, look at my leg already. Yeah, I can't do the whole... Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. Okay, anyways, don't have a goal weight. Um, when are y'all going to have a baby? I don't know. What are the biggest things you guys miss about New York? I, the biggest thing I miss... Shout out to my son, BC. You man. already know, man. BC, man. The biggest thing that I feel like I miss about New York... Corner stores, bro. Like, I miss the corner stores. The biggest thing that I miss about New York is Brian. Shut up. <laughs> nah, no funny shit. I miss my friends. I miss my family. I miss seeing my goddaughters. I miss seeing um, my little cousin Kelso. That's what I miss. Like, that's the only thing that I really miss. Like, corner store food, not too crazy about it just because I can't eat anyways. Um, I just miss my family and my friends. Like, that's all I miss. I if mean, I had yeah, my I miss friends my family and my friends too, but... No, but if I had my family and my friends down here, everything would be complete. I don't even care if... We didn't have a car and we didn't have no way to get nowhere. As long as I have my friends and my family, that's all I care about. What goals, what goal or goals would you like to accomplish in the next five years? Next five years, I will be 28. I want to have a kid by then. I want to have a ring on my finger by then. <laughs> Why do you guys say it so? Ring on my finger by then. Why you guys say it like that? Like. Anyways, that's the goals I would like to accomplish by then. I wanna, um, 
I'm not sure if you, I never told you guys this, but I've been thinking about like starting my own little company. I'm not sure if I want to be like lashes or selling hair, but I want to my company to be established by then i also by then want to be full-time youtubers because i do not want to work anymore as you guys have been knew that i want to be a full-time youtuber i would like to have multiple brand deals in five years i want to have a channel for my son instagram for my son yeah his son right uh, that's what i'm keep saying the, keep the good energy son okay as long um, as they come out with my hair i don't care yeah just my head Anyways, um, also by then, uh, I want Bradley to have another little person he, he needs can run a around with. Yeah, he needs somebody else. I've been telling her that. And I want us to have like our own apartment or be living in in a townhouse or something like that. But honestly, like low key, I don't want to move out from my mother's house. But if I have a kid, my kid gotta have their own room, so we got to go. Yeah, whatever. That was another debate, but we ain't gonna get into that. Anyways, five years from now, you will be an old man. I'll be 30. Huh? You'll be 28. I'll be 30. You, you're going to be old. Yo, I hate when she <laughs> says that. Because she's right behind me. But you're going to be old. <laughs> like, whatever. <sighs> but in five years, for me, I would like to own my own business and just be a successful. Own my own business. We ain't never talked about this. Listen, listen. listen we should talk about this. We did talk about this. What, what business? What I want to open up. What I like. Okay. <sighs> okay, he likes motorcycles and cars, so he wants to open, I wanna up, open up my own shop. His own shop. Soon. I, I'm gonna, let me not say soon, but eventually. I will stop my own channel when it comes to the automotive world. Because, you know, that's my lane. That's my niche. But. Niche. Yeah, niche, niche, whatever. Niche, 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 niche whatever. Niche, um, niche. But yeah, yeah five years, I just want to be accomplished. Then have accomplished a lot and just be successful and have a family. And, <laughs> and possibly get married. Possibly. Yes, if you say yes. Who knows? You may say no. I don't know. Just so you guys know, I do want to have a destination wedding. So we've already talked about this. He agrees. We're having a destination wedding when we do get married. <sighs> So be on the lookout for that. Y'all need to press him. Y'all need to be in his inbox, messaging him on all his pictures, telling him, just put a ring emoji. Put the ring emoji underneath all his pictures and DM it to him. That's what y'all need to do. We good? Oh, God. Because sis, I'm not... Yo, relax. It's about to be three years. Calm down. That's why I got to wait eight years? Nah, I ain't saying that. Why I got to wait five? Five years. Oh, how did I get so confident? Um, I'm not really confident. Like, I don't know what you guys see. Like, okay, let me not say that. I'm confident, but I'm not one of those people that just don't have any insecurities about them or everybody has insecurities about them. My insecurity was clearly my weight, which I did something with it. I just feel like... <coughs> Everybody has insecurities. There's always going to be something that you don't agree with or something you don't like about yourself. You have to turn it around and flip it into something that you do like about yourself. Or at least try to turn it around into something you do like about yourself. And if you don't like how heavy you are, bitch, go to the gym. If you don't want to go to the gym, bitch, get some surgery. Bitch, you don't want to get no surgery? Stop eating. Bitch, <laughs> if you don't want to stop eating, I don't know. Try to do something. I'm not telling you to do it, but try to do something. As long as you're trying to do something and you're trying to change something, you're going to just feel better about yourself. Like, there's no other way to put it. Um, I'm not insecure when it comes to other females because Derek know I will kill him and I will kill them and they will both be in the grave together. Okay. I'm gonna kill you, me, and that hoe. I'm gonna kill, <laughs> I'm gonna kill you, me, and that hoe. We all going to hell. Okay, we have like one more question to answer, although I don't want to answer it. <laughs> she talking about you, Theo. I'm sorry. So my you. sister Theodora wrote under my under the post and was like, "How much do you love me? I don't love you. I love we my love Coco. I love Dakota. <laughs> I don't Coco. love you." Then she asks, because okay. My, she's not my real sister. She's my stepsister, but we've known each other. 
for forever. Since Five years old. From as far as I can remember back, my sister was with us. Okay? Let me just put it like that. So, um, she said, do you think our lives would be different if our parents never met? Yes, our lives would be different if our, if our parents never met because I wouldn't know you and I would not have that bad little thing as a brother, Matthew. But, yeah, I love my family. Everybody that's in my family. And, of course, I love you, Theodora. And, yes, our, my lives would be different. I probably would have met Derek. Yeah, I wouldn't have met Derek. How do I jump into this equation? If me and Theo, if our parents didn't meet, and I never knew Theo, I would have never met you. But I met you before. I'm yeah, you met me Jay. before, but you didn't want to talk well, to me. I didn't me meet you, but... You wasn't interested. You would have never got the chance to date me or really meet me if it wasn't for Theo. Because Theo was working at Best Buy, and uh -huh. Theo met Brian, uh -huh. and Brian got me the job at Best uh -huh. Buy. And that's how you ended up meeting me at Best Buy. True. So if Theo wasn't in the picture, you would have never met me. So you better be happy that our parents met. No. <laughs> no? Okay. And who knows? I could have slid in your DMs after that. I don't know. Derek, you had me on Instagram for mad long and you never slid in my DMs. What are you talking about? I didn't even know I had you on Instagram. That's funny. But, yeah. I could have scrolled the picture. Oh, who this little baddie? You know what I'm saying? Sliding her DMs real quick. And Anyways, Just that saying. is the end of this video. We don't have any more questions. Well, we have more questions, but yeah. This video is like. I mean, it's all repeat 20 questions. Most of it's repeat questions. Yeah, right? like Maddie, I'll be asking the same question. <laughs> this is like, y'all better not be in my DMs. Talk about some yes. ring. Ring. Put the we ring emoji <laughs> under every picture. DM him with a ring emoji. Please. Oh, man. Come on, don't do Cause that. since y'all wanna see it so much, I wanna see it too. You encouraging that too? Oh man. Well, this is life with K and D. You already know. We love you, Team Katie. Mm. Handshake. You already know. Hi, <laughs> Rio.